type strategies and the perfect headshot. So we're going to shoot Agile in the head. <laughs> Oracle. <coughs> and so the game, uh, Battlefield 2, Bags Company 2. Really awesome game, uh, very realistic. They've done some great work in the physics engine. Um, great explosions, uh, gravity effect, wind effect, it all plays in. Um, so it's a sort of very realistic game. So why do I play? Why does a grown man of 33 years of age still play games? Because vehicles is awesome. <laughs> 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 to get into a one arrows tank online and shoot an Apache out of the sky with its main gun, there's nothing like it. <laughs> 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 the other reason I play, because of this dude. This dude makes me mad. <laughs> this dude will, will, will grieve you from a uh, concealed spy who's just going to run along and all of a sudden you're dead. And you don't know where he is. <laughs> so we're going to kill him. So Counter, or counter Sniper, uh, aka Noob Strategies. What you have to do is, you have to become a sniper. You have to understand what your opponent is playing. You have to figure out how he plays the game, uh, so you can figure out counter strategies to, to his strategy. One of the main things in the game that you have to understand is the effect of gravity on your bullets. Um, the different weapons have different muzzle velocities, uh, different bullets, uh, have different speeds, and have different drops on the bullet. So the farther it goes out, more drops. Two different rifles that are uh, two of my favorite are the F24 sniper rifle and the M95 sniper rifle, which is the 50 caliber uh, range up to 2,000 meters. <coughs> Very little bullet, bullet drop on this guy. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you compensate for bullet drop? Uh, well, you use your reticle and you inside your sight. Um, basically, the reticles. Uh, some of them have tick marks, uh, which are great, so what you have to do is aim uh, for the guy up here, if he's at 300 yards, here for 500 yards, and there for 300 yards. What you also have to do is Dick Cheney is demonstrating for us. <laughs> <laughs> Compensate for removing targets. Uh, so be your target. Not so much in counter sniper strategies, because your target's usually stationary, aiming at somebody, some other poor dude. Another strategy that to keep in mind is concealment silhouetting. The dude on the left is presenting a silhouette to a sniper um, because the backdrop is a nice bright sky. The dude on the right, he'd probably kill you before you even see him. Okay, uh, one of the other rules is location, location, location. Let's say your main force right here is coming up the map of these uh, railroad tracks. You have an enemy sniper sending up inside this building. The enemy sniper is probably knows where your main guys are coming from and is probably looking in this direction. Uh, so what you want to try to do is uh, sniper sneak around his line of sight and then shoot Agile in the head. Um, if he gets to you and he really pisses you off, you can exact your vengeance, which is a, uh, <clears throat> a flanking maneuver. Basically, you walk around the map, pull away behind him, apply a little this, <laughs> and a little that. His uh, um, dog tags there to collect them. Okay, so the perfect headshot. Basically, using all these strategies, um, especially with the bullet drop. You can do some very, very far shots. Um, this shot right here uh, is probably one of the farthest and one of the farthest map. It's worth 560 points. Um, here's another one. You can see him actually aiming out. Um, he actually got 551 points. Um, it'll actually be a special uh, points for doing marksman headshots, which are aimed shots. Um, and you get a fancy little ping here if you do a lot, or a fancy little badge if you do a hell of a lot. 